Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce you to this bout on our card is brought to you with thanks to Franz Hydroponics. We do it in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner, travels to us tonight from Sydney, New South Wales. He's trained out of the rival gym at Castle Hill. He weighed in officially 70.6 kilos. Brings to the cage a record, four fights, two wins and two losses. Give it up, this is Joshua O'Brien! his opponent standing across in the red corner from Brisbane the River City trained out of the fight center gym weighed in officially 70.2 kilos brings to the cage a record three fights three wins are yet to taste defeat this is Max Davidson <laughs> referee in charge Mr. Nathan Waters Boy, you ready? This fight ready? brought to you by Let's Franz go. Hydroponics. See the team at Franz Hydroponics to set up your garden for success. Yeah. Their friendly experts will guide you every step of the way. Head to franzhydroponics.com.au for more information. Meaning business immediately. We're grounded still, we're clear. I like that by Max, that, that early grapple. I mean, O'Brien's definitely proved that he's a, a big threat especially early in the fight when no one's tired and you're just throwing down in the center of the cage. And it's smart from Davidson as well. If you've got a guy that's that dangerous, that really likes to get out of the gate and like throwing straight away to at least give give a guy like O'Brien that is that tenacious, that gets after it, just give him that thought of the shot early on. Because that actually opens up the strikes. It's what a lot of guys don't get. You've got to put the fear of the strike in because then it opens up those other things. And O'Brien just making good on his reputation. You can hear those shots. Davison keeps his composure, throws a hook out of it. Yeah, massive shots by O'Brien. Max did a good job countering him there, though. He sure did, absolutely. A bit of blood on the nose of Davison, but he looks like he's composed. You can see how O'Brien just, even if he doesn't have something, he just makes it happen. He almost just mongrels his way through it. Yeah, that's the perfect way to describe it. He just looks strong as well. Oh, man. O'Brien just doing everything we thought he would. Yeah, I think it's a pretty safe bet that Max is going to look to, to keep grappling a bit, and uh, at least until O'Brien's a bit more worn down and isn't just throwing absolute heat on every punch when they exchange. It is that case, isn't it? It's almost like weather the storm. Don't try and indulge him too much to put the threat of the takedown in. I like those leg kicks and kicking against O'Brien, who funnily enough shoots in himself. Yeah, I, found that, I find that kind of surprising. I, he was doing a great job on the feet, but he get he secures the takedown. Straight into what looks like a half guard. He takes the points. Oh, and Davidson able to work up to his knees. Clasp the hands together. And he takes O'Brien down. That shot from O'Brien now, not looking too smart in hindsight. Yeah, that was a beautiful wrestle up by Max. Good work by him. And this is exactly what he wants now, because if, if he can stay here for a few minutes and wear O'Brien down, even if he doesn't get the finish, the stand-up is going to be completely different. Oh, and into mount goes Davidson. He's definitely made the most of his last 30 seconds. Yeah, just unfortunate for Max that he got this position so late in the round. Bit of a moral victory as well. Hard round to call, but he at least puts it in the head of O'Brien that he's not going to go away so easily. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great work, great work by Max to win the storm. Very impressed by that wrestle up at the end there to recover position and, and kind of maybe recover the round right at the end. We cut to our next gen construction replay. You see O'Brien, it was just punches and punches, wasn't it? Even at his own expense, his defense is offense. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that when I saw that. He is someone who's more than happy to take one to give one. Sometimes it's two or three. 
See if there's a little shake up. Still think it was very interesting that O'Brien went in for that shot and went in for that takedown. Davidson mincing nothing. Making no bones about where he wants to fight and does exactly that. Looks like O'Brien's trying to set up a, a triangle again. We, we've seen this a few times in, in the previous fights that you recover the guard, you end up on the bottom and you try and get that triangle, but we haven't seen it work out for anyone yet. Yeah, it's the Hail Mary, isn't it? It's, it's like the... It's the hoping for the big overhand right. It's just that version, but on the ground. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely not really where O'Brien looks looks comfortable. Davidson just listening to all the corner advice, doing exactly what they're asking for. Driving that forehead in, grabbing onto the head even. The more that you do stuff like this, it doesn't seem like much, but Davidson's pummeling, he's grabbing the head. You make O'Brien play into that game, and he just stays on the ground. Like, the more that he pummels back, the more that he's thinking about doing, oh, where's my hand position? I need to be in inside position. When you do this whole dance, you're just staying on the ground. Yeah, absolutely. You're staying on the ground, and, and you're getting tired, just shuffling and wiggling your hips around and, and pushing body weight off your chest and shoulders. Um, it doesn't look like much, but over three minutes, it, it adds up. Yeah, absolutely. There's so much nuance to it. Davidson just... You, you get an inch in this game and you take a mile. It's literally... It's, it's a met, That's the best metaphor for it. Yeah, great work by Max to take advantage of the position. I'd like to see Max try and posture up now that he's kind of got O'Brien wedged against the fence, especially at this angle right now. Good angle to start posturing up and landing like really big shots. I think O'Brien knows it, trying to keep hold of that overhook, and as he loses it, you see those shots fly. Oh, no, Brian thinking that he's doing the right thing. Yeah, good work by both boys. Uh, I think both of them are doing the right thing. Max is holding that chest lock. He's looking for a power half Nelson to break O'Brien down. I and love that the, the, the Davidson. Sorry, mate. He, he went for that that chest lock over the seat belt. You see that so much, and then guys fall over the top. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Great work from both boys, I think, there. And Brian feeling like he almost had Davidson over, but if anything, he gets taken back into the grappling realm again. As Davidson looks like he's under the chin. Wow, 10 seconds to go, but it looks deep. It looks very deep. Oh, and great O'Brien. Work. Just that mongrel that we were talking about. Yeah, absolutely. He will not be denied. Whoa. Which is crazy because you consider how that round went for Davidson just then. It was pretty dominant. He's the guy that had the busted nose that was bleeding everywhere in the first round. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> Really impressive by both boys to, to just like weather the storm when they're not in their element. You see O'Brien, he just really doesn't do that well on the back foot. Defensively, yeah. like all, like his offense goes out the window as well and you can see him just really give up those hips because he was leaning away. Man, really good round for Davidson. So close to finishing the fight with that choke. And what we alluded to on the walkout, just that doggedness of O'Brien. It really isn't a tribute that, that carries over, not just to aggression, but just that never-say-die attitude. Third and final round. And again. I mean, Davis has just really found the, the entry to those shots. It only takes a shot or two to get O'Brien's chin up in the air and he just exposes those hips. But in saying that, O'Brien turns around the position, turns the tides early in the third, postures up and hits a big shot. 
This is such a good fight, but, but it's just so back and forth. Every time I think someone's going to take over, one of the boys reverses it. Well, in saying that, it looks like it could be Davidson coming up. He does exactly that. Smart move by O'Brien to stand up there. I think that, that was really his chance right there. He had to make it happen, otherwise that could have been the fight over. 100%. 100%. With these short rounds, if you don't make it happen then and there, I mean, it's so easy to just feel this round just get taken away from you, literally. Breaks and strikes, I love it. Davidson just, oh, timed that well. And he's unable to sprawl. You can just see the perfect locking of the hands, especially positionally in that sweet spot. Not quite behind the knees, not quite behind the hips. Yeah, absolutely. Great work by Max. When he gets into that double, he locks the hands straight away, and it's so hard to defend at that point. And this is exactly what you want to see. It's the, it's the exact opposite from O'Brien, look what we've seen before. About guys just pulling guard and hanging in these guards and putting up triangles. It's like, man, just get up. It takes one punch. You could turn this whole thing around with one punch. But that one punch isn't going to happen from your guard. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Great work by O'Brien, and he counters with his own takedown. So close on the double unders, but he just misses it. Head's not in a good position now, and he gets returned to the floor. It's going to be so hard for him to finish that. His corner's calling for head on the outside. They don't want his head trapped in between the legs there. You can always feel it, hey? It's, it's, it's that, oh, man, I've got to go again. And Davidson knows it, too. Davidson knows it. He's just pulling the legs out, which kind of sucks. But you've got to think about where all the weight for O'Brien is lifting. He's lifting up from the hips up. And you can see now that he's almost lost a lot of that willingness to continually try to work back up to his feet. Yeah, Mac, it looked like Max was trying to set up like a, a side triangle for a moment there, and, and it right ends up on top. And Davidson just no quit. Immediately turns it around, wrestles up. Looks like he's going to pass. He does just that. Makes his way in the mountain. What a way to finish the fight. Yeah, great work by Max. Just letting him go. Wow, big round. Big round. Just absolutely no quit. And Josh O'Brien, and you love to see that. Even when he was in those positions, he was just getting himself back into his fight. Even if he had to claw his way back into it. He did it one foot at a time. Just get your foot to the mat. Just get your hip up. Get up to a knee. Do something. Really refreshing to see, and it's fantastic, man. It's just, it's that stuff. It's that never, never say die stuff that's going to make him do much better later on in his career. Even right now, it's, it's going to pay dividends. Yeah, awesome work from both boys. I like the way Max managed. He managed to finish every round in a dominant position, mounted and on the back for the first two rounds. So good on him for weather in the storm, especially early. And, and same for O'Brien, never giving up. 100%, especially against a guy like O'Brien that is just so aggressive, so intimidating. And Davidson just not biting into any of it. He just still did what he needed to do, did what he wanted to do, took the fight away, and it looks like he might have at least won two of these rounds. But to find out for sure, the atmosphere's electric, wait to find out. We're going to head back into the cage with James O'Shea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get set to make this one official. We'll get our two fighters to uh, center cage. And a big thank you to uh, Franz Hydroponics. Put your hands together for both the fighters here. Ladies and gentlemen, they deserve their applause. A fantastic contest. We go to the judges' scorecards. And they score this contest 29 to 28, 29 to 28, and 29 to 28. All for your winner by unanimous decision and it goes to the red corner.